What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show us how to perform the plank the right way. So one thing, a uh, couple of mistakes I see people make with the plank is that they try to do it for too long. So someone has to see who can hold the plank for say two minutes, uh, over one minute, two minutes, some people can go up to three minutes. Really by the time you can perform the plank for three minutes with good form, first of all, um, you're most likely doing a very easy variation and it's no longer really working your abs. You want to be able to do a plank for 30, 40 seconds and then keep making it harder uh, if you want to get more gains for your core, for your abs. So, first thing which you need to do is make sure it's the right form because just performing it with the right form will make it harder. So first of all, someone may think that this is easy, doing it at an inclined surface like this, but this can be made hard also. You want to make sure that you're tight, you're engaged, fully engaged all through your, your body, from your toes. My toes are together, I'm tiptoeing to keep my calves tight, my knees are straight, they're not bending, they're not slugging, they are, they, are, they are tight, my glutes are tight, my core is engaged, I'm leaning forward, squeezing forward, and then you want to be able to hold it like that. And trust me, I'm already feeling, I'm already feeling strain in my core and in my legs. Actually, a good sign that you're actually doing the muscle, that you're, that you're doing the plank right, is that you'll occasionally possibly get some kind of uh, a slight muscle pull, say like in your calf, then you can be sure that you know what, I'm actually squeezing everything, which is what you want. So, if that's easy, you want to make it a little bit harder, you can perform that for 30, 40 seconds. You want to get down and perform it with your knees in, in the knee push-up position. So, get, get, get your forearms on the ground, get into the knee position, don't stick your, your, your glutes out like this. What you want to do is squeeze. Bring those elbows in, squeeze, and then as you breathe out, blow out through your mouth, control your breathing, but try and feel your abs tightening as you blow out. That keeps them engaged the full time. All right, you can now perform 30, 40 seconds of it in that position. You want to now perform the plank in the push-up position. So on all fours, keep those feet together, lean forward. In through the nose, breathe in, out through the mouth, and feel those abs as you blow out. All right, you can now perform again 30, 40 seconds Without any issues, you want to make it harder by increasing on the leverage, on, on, on the lever, which, which you're creating. So instead of just being on your elbows, you can actually start by being, by getting onto your palms like this. Lean forward, don't stick those glutes out, St stick them forward, like that. Squeeze. Because now there we're now engaging also our shoulders, we're keeping everything nice and tight. Make sure your shoulders are not drooping forward like this. Keep, it, keep them squeezed backwards like that, keep your core tight. Make your body as tight as possible. Let the abs be the ones really trying to keep you from bending, from slacking. Now, still, you want to make that harder. If you can do it for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you want to make it harder. What you do is you increase on the lever. So you begin taking those, those, those hands outwards. So this is the previous progression, you want to make it harder, begin going out. Get on your toes, feet together, glutes tight. You want to make it even harder, keep on going. Something like that. And you can actually make it such that you keep going out, depending on your shoulder flexibility, as you go out, prevent yourself from slouching downwards like this. You keep your abs, hollow body position, keep them squeezed, and you keep moving out, just like that. And that's how you perform the plank, in a, in a way which actually challenges you, and actually makes you get gains with your abs. All right, looking for more programs like this to get you lean, to get you strong and healthy, check out the link below. Till next time, take care.